day 64, celery juice. Here we go. Now I'm making tofu scramble for breakfast with this field roast apple sage sausage, two things of extra firm tofu, and some diced potatoes. And I usually use onions, but I am all out, so we're just going to do potatoes by themselves with the other stuff. And seasonings, of course. Alright, while these are cooking on medium low heat, I am pressing my tofu with a water bottle with water in it, and I'm gonna find something to press this one with, probably some cans, just to get the excess water out of it. <laughs> while I wait for, excuse my dirty stove, while I wait for these to uh, start to brown and cook a little bit, and I'm gonna to put the lid on so the potatoes can cook through. Putting some color in the mat, the black, black salt. <laughs> it's not actually black, but that's what it's called. That's what gives it the eggy flavor. And I, I like to use this Adam's Reserve Burger Spice and some turmeric to make it yellow. Once it's all mixed up, I like to add some mild salsa. I like mine to taste like a southwestern cookie scramble. Sometimes I put black beans and corn in it too. Well, we're on spring all break. All done. I need a review. How is it, everyone? It's delicious. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Mm hmm. 11. Oh. Ooh. 12. <laughs> it's an option. 13. 13. 45,000 five. billion pie. 46,000 billion pie. Why? Thank you. 46,050,000 billion pie. <laughs> Infinity. Oh. Alright, time to eat. Mm. <laughs> We're going hiking. Come on. Logan says he knows where we can find some sunflowers, which is my favorite flower. So he's gonna lead us to them. Yeah, yeah, finger and hold the camera. I'm gonna hold the camera. Then let's follow you. If you put your nose up to them and smell them, usually they'll, they'll smell like rain. But when it actually rains, then, they, then they, they, these plants get off and give off an even better smell. It's actually very sweet. There's a gate over there. And they started to bloom too. We gotta still watch our step. True. It's the last time me and Logan saw a snake. Well, no, that was over there. Yeah, that was over there. It could, it could still, it could still be here. Hello, plan. Structure down there. What? Yeah, but it's yeah. like a little waiting area. Down there, there's like a bonfire full of black waters. Hmm. That's like a little waiting area. Yeah. Yeah. Like a picnic area. 
But it has spider webs over there too. Okay. long on that trail because it was all uphill and we didn't have any water <laughs> so we decided to just come to the park and hang out at the park so that's what we're doing I'm so excited because Shannon Rose's second book just came out today so I'm reading the first chapter right now <laughs> Logan found this cute oh no I didn't, I didn't find it well somebody found this cute rock it looks like Larry the um, cucumber. It does look like Larry the cucumber. And it has this on the back. That's what I said. Post like, cook too, like... but he, I'm not sure what that says. Kenosha? Here, let, let me see. Meethim.org. Yeah, Kenosha. And uh, Kenosha and Racine Rocks. Check out at, at Meethim.org. It's really cute. Here, let, let, let's try it. Oh, it's really cute. Anyway, go and hide it. <gasps> Logan, huh? go and hide it. I will. having the leftover tofu scramble for my lunch and I'm watching the uh, new it's on screensaver right now but I'm watching the new Ted Bundy movie on Netflix shockingly wicked or wait what's it called the extremely wicked shockingly evil and vile the one with Zac Efron playing Ted Bundy it's good so far all right I'm attempting to make black bean burgers for dinner so I've got half of a red onion in here and some minced garlic. I didn't, I didn't measure it. Uh, I'm gonna use two cans of organic black beans and then I'm gonna use some um, Adam's Reserve Burger Spice, smoked paprika, black pepper, and thyme. I was going to use a recipe that I found in one of my books that I've like never used, but um, this is basically if I was using all of her correct ingredients, this would be regular salt, and I would also be adding marjoram to it, but I don't have that, so this is what I'm gonna use. And I'm also making it differently because I'm gonna use flax and oats to bind it instead of uh, brown rice and quinoa, so it's a bit different. We're gonna give it a try and see how it turns out. Since it calls for two teaspoons of salt, I'm gonna put two teaspoons of the burger spice. Teaspoon of black pepper. two teaspoons of smoked paprika, one teaspoon dried thyme. Now I'm gonna blend it. All right, I blended it pretty well. Now I'm gonna take it out and add it to this mixing bowl and add my flaxseed and some oats. I'm gonna probably start with one cup of oats. All right, this is a half a cup of flaxseed and I just added some water, it's nice and thick. I might have added a little bit too much water. <laughs> I mean, not enough water because it's really thick, but that's okay. While I've been making this mixture, I've had my oven preheating on 350 degrees. I'm gonna add one cup of oats to this, mix it and see if I need more. All right, I'm gonna add a second cup of oats. All right, so it made six patties. Two cups of oats was enough to bind it, but it does taste a little bit bland, so I'm gonna add burger spice on top of each one of them and some black pepper. Give them a little bit extra flavor because I like my stuff flavorful. And so does Luis. Then 
they go in the oven for 20 minutes on one side and then 10 to 15 minutes on the other side after you flip them. All right, they're ready to bake. All right, they're ready to be served. Look good. Thanks, it. <laughs> Looking pretty tasty. Got oh. some veggies and ketchup, pickles and tomatoes, and some spicy sweet chili Doritos, which are my fave. I'm gonna give it a taste. Logan says he likes his. Why do you like yours? Oh, He's just eating his plain with tomato. Oh. You like yours, Karen? Okay. It's a seven. Seven? It's not too bad. Not too bad. Daddy, let me know mm -hmm. what you think. Sorry, I'll give it an eight. It's okay. All right, ignore my messy hair. I took like a three hour nap. <laughs> so. I took a one hour nap. Yeah, Gary and slept on the couch and I slept in my room before watching that, that uh, Zac Efron uh, Ted Bundy movie. <laughs> I can't taste it over the pickle. Pretty good. I think I'd give it an eight. Also, mm -hmm. I'd make it again. Mm -hmm. It's pickle. good. So, yeah. uh, pickle camp mouse is not classified as a pickle. I'm gonna enjoy. Yeah. Let me know if you guys are gonna try um, making these. It was pretty easy. And that's it for today. So, thanks for watching my little broccoli bites, and we'll catch you in the next video. Oh, also, may the fourth be with you. We're gonna watch um, Rogue One today because we have to celebrate Star Wars. So, let us know if you guys celebrate May the yeah. fourth. Yeah, because, you know, we're Star Wars fans and all. So, anyway, catch you later. Bye, Broccoli Bites.